Welcome! In this video we're going to take a look at how to detect SMB v1 use on your network. My name is Dara Delaney from Netfort. Firstly, how can you monitor your network file shares? Well, if you want to do it passively without interfering with the servers, without installing agents or doing stuff with logs, one option you have is to monitor network traffic. Now to do that, you just need to set up what's known as a span port or mirror port or even use a network tap. The idea is, if wherever your servers are connected, so your file server would be your focus, locate that switch, and on that switch you can then set up a span port. That span port allows you to get a copy of the data that's going to and from the file server, and a copy of that information is sent out to a separate port. In my case, I've got our own Netfort LAN Guardian shown here, so you can deploy that on a physical machine, or you can also deploy it as a, as a virtual machine. So it can connect to a span or mirror port and it can analyze the traffic. It uses a combination of intrusion detection and deep packet inspection technologies to look at things like uh, packet content that is an indication of ransomware. Or for the purpose of this video, we're going to take a look at any servers that are communicating using SMB v1. Just as a tip, if you're worried about ransomware and you want to use traffic monitoring, you must monitor your file servers. but I also would suggest that you include the internet gateway. There's a lot of giveaways when it comes to ransomware at your internet gateway because ransomware can get in that way and also it may try to phone home. So absolutely make sure that you monitor both your internet gateway and your file server when it comes to ransomware. The switches, many switches can do the many to one port mirroring. So there's no problem monitoring multiple ports. So once you're up and running, let's get on my own LAN Guardian here. If you've just downloaded, you should have a ransomware monitor dashboard. Uh, got a couple of elements here. It shows um, renames, different things associated with ransomware. But the one I'm interest in, interested in is here on the right hand side. So let's extend the report by clicking on the, the little play button here. So this gives us a summary of what servers on the, my network are running SMB v1. So I've actually have, have a client here. Uh, 10.1.1.80, so it's obviously it's talking via SMB v1. If you want to get the the client IPs or even the usernames, if you click the user button up here, you can get the IP address, the server, and what actions, or what files have been accessed using SMB version one. So in my case here, I'm running some script to simulate a, a ransomware attack, so you can see the files being renamed. So it's very, very easy to discover what servers are running SMB version one with LAN Guardian. Also, if, if you have a, an older version of LAN Guardian, you, you don't have the ransomware dashboard. If you just type server into the search bar, scroll down to the Windows file shares, and what you're looking for here is top file share servers. Select that, and in the version here, choose SMB version one, and I should get the same result. And here it is here, here's that same server. So if you don't have the, uh, the ransomware dashboard, just use the report finder.